last tutorial focused on this camera and zoom. I'm going to review over this a little bit, but to find the camera, if you can't find the camera, there's three dots here and the camera's faint here because it's in my toolbar, but all you have to do is hold and click, click and hold on that and drag it to your toolbar. And I'm going to click on it. As soon as I click on it, I get a new layer for my camera. And so the first thing I'm going to do on frame one is um, I want to zoom in. So right on frame one, I'm going to zoom in. Oops, I didn't want to rotate it. I want to zoom in. So I want to be on this button here to zoom in. And I want to focus on the fireplace. So I'm moving this to really get the fireplace like the, I'm building a scene there's a fireplace it's just a you can kind of set the tone for it and then um, I want it to pan over to my characters so this time there's no animation with it zooming I just wanted to start panning over to my characters so I'm gonna take my playhead move it out to just 110 just to see how this works there's no, no rhyme or reason why i'm moving it to 110 and i'm going to go ahead and insert a keyframe now on this keyframe i want it to now be focused on my characters playing this checker game i also know that i need to see both of the characters so the bounding box is what the camera is looking at i need to zoom out some more I don't want to see the whites. So now I can see the both characters. I can see their checker game. And so let's just check it out. Oh, the last step I want to do is on frame one, create a classic tween so it animates. So I'm zoomed into the fireplace. This bounding box is what people will see. It zooms over to my characters. So let's just take I'm going to just do a control enter to test the movie to see what I see. And isn't that a nice effect? That's just what you would see in cartoons. So you have a zoom um, in on an object and then I have a pan and that's how you use your camera.